Today we're going to show you how to install your Nova or Nova 2 Firebox on our Nova Series bench. The Firebox can be installed all the way on the right, the left, or in the center. To do this installation, we're going to need to drill four holes into the bench so that the stove can be secure. When we're doing this, there's a couple pieces of safety equipment we're going to need to use. First, our safety glasses and cut-proof gloves. Your Nova Series bench comes pre-installed with a heat shield and insulation. We're going to need to remove that heat shield and insulation so that we can access the underside of this bench for securing our stove. The heat shield is held in with three removable clips on one side and three welded on clips on the other. We're going to remove our three removable clips and then take down the heat shield. Now that we have our template in place, we're going to get ready to start drilling. You'll notice on your template, on the closed side, there are commonly shared holes for Nova and Nova 2, and as you go down the template, there's a closer set of holes for Nova and a farther away set of holes for Nova 2. This is because Nova 2 is a wider firebox, so depending on which firebox you're installing, you want to be sure to use the right holes. To pilot these holes, we're going to use a quarter inch bit that is designed for going through steel. This drill bit is not included. After we finish drilling these holes, we're going to then use the three quarter inch drill bit that is included with your Nova bench to finish drilling out our holes. Now we're going to use the three quarter inch drill bit that was provided with your Nova series bench to expand the four pilot holes we just made. It's important to use this with a battery operated drill and not with an electric plug-in drill for safety. Now that we've finished drilling our four holes, cleaned our workspace, and put the bench in its final installation position, it's time to get ready to put the firebox on top of the bench. We recommend putting a blanket on top of the bench to avoid any scratching when placing on the firebox. After putting the blanket down, you can press into the four holes while wearing gloves so you can see your holes for reference when placing the stove on top of the bench. These four holes are going to line up with the threaded pads on the bottom of the firebox. When installing on the far right or the far left of your bench, we recommend aiming for the back corner hole first while also keeping in mind lining up the other three. After we get this lined up, we're going to use the black bolts that are located in the firebox of your Nova or Nova 2 to secure the stove to the bench. We now have our stove aligned on top of our bench. You'll notice that we have the blanket still between the stove and the bench. Starting in the back corner, we're going to take a little bit of pressure off the stove, slide the blanket to expose the back corner hole. From there, we're going to take our black securement bolts that were located in the firebox and secure the bench to the pad of the back corner of the stove. After getting that, that bolt in, we'll do the same process for the remaining three holes. After all holes are secured hand tight with our securement bolts, it is then time to use a socket or adjustable wrench to tighten them down fully. Now that our firebox is secured to the bench, it's time to put our heat shield back up using the same three removable clips we previously took out. The short side of the removable clip should be perpendicular to the ground, and the long side of the clip should be parallel to the ground. Last but not least, we're gonna be installing our sliding ash drawer. 
This can be opened before opening the door on your stove to catch any ash or embers that might come out of the stove and it also perfectly cleans the look. Thanks for watching.